Kia ora, I'm Cody Wehingatai, a leading electronics technician in the Royal New Zealand Navy. As an electronics technician in the Navy, um, we tend to maintain all of the radars and the communication systems, the land on board, all of the ships that go away, but also um, we maintain some of the systems that are ashore. Me as a leading hand, my role is to ensure that the work that we're given by the senior rates gets done, but also um, providing the opportunity for the able rates and the ordinary rates to um, progress so that maybe um, giving them task book training or giving them opportunities to um, get in there and try fixing something. It's all about learning, making sure that everybody um, progresses. During basic training, you go through and you learn everything that you need to know to be either an ET or a dub -T. and then on completion of that, that's when you can branch off and decide whether you prefer to work with weapons or communication systems. Throughout all of the training that we do um, in the Navy, you do get NCA credits. They can be level two and level three um, for our electronics technician training. I think the most rewarding part for me was finishing our LTWE course. So that course was about 18 months of constant study. You're getting paid to do it though, which was Cool. And once we finish that, I manage to finish all of the courses that I need for promotion. I now have a diploma in electrical engineering, and I also have an electrical service technician certificate so I can work on electrical equipment right up to the power source. And if I wanted to carry on and do a full-on electrician certificate, I can use all of that and all of those skills to carry on with that. So razzing or replenishment at sea is when two ships will come alongside each other and they may pass fuel or they can pass supplies. Um, an ET's role in a RAS is the comms line. So they'll send a line across between the two ships and that line will have two wires which will connect up two little phones, one on each ship and that's just so we can talk to each other really. We do have our um, radio systems but it's just good practice for when we meet up with ships that we don't actually um, have radio communications with. Prior to joining the Navy I um, conducted the LSVs course that's run by the government. They take you through pretty much the whole military life within the six weeks that you're there with them. It's like definitely something I would recommend. In the future, I'm hoping to um, post ashore and go to um, RTS, the Recruit Training School. I feel that some of my skills that I have would be able to be applied there and hopefully help build the younger generation coming through.